Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial will cover Microsoft Excel 2016 and how to enter formulas using the point mode. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see on this spreadsheet here that I'm eventually going to calculate the net pay for this list of employees. Now I have to go through and I have to calculate the bonus first. So let's go over to the bonus area and I'm going to start with an equal sign. Now what a lot of people do is once they hit that equal sign they're ready to type in uh, the cell references. And what a lot of my students do, which is a mistake mistake that they make initially is they'll say, all right, I need to multiply my sales by my commission over here. So that's cell B2 times cell C2. All right. Now, a lot of times when people start typing in B2 or uh, multiplied by C2, a lot of times they type it in incorrectly. Now remember, if you mess up this cell reference one time and then you use autofill to bring the cell references down, it's going to make that entire row of, uh, or that entire column incorrect. So instead, we're going to use what's called point mode. And so let's go ahead and we're back to our equal sign here. If I want to reference cell C2, point mode means we're using our mouse. So I'm going to go right over here to cell B2 and I'm going to click on it. If you click the cell or a range of cells, meaning you highlight through them, you could actually reference the cell just by clicking on it, which is a lot more accurate than uh, typing it out. Just because a lot of times somebody will go to type B2 and they'll accidentally type B5 because it's close to it on the number pad or maybe B1 or B3. So we have B2 there. Then we can switch back to our keyboard and we're gonna type in the asterisk. Now, a lot of people do shift and eight for their asterisk. That's not really the best way to do it. A lot of times you're gonna to wanna to increase your speed when you're typing formulas. So see if your keyboard has a number pad on the right side and right above the nine, you should see an asterisk. You click that and right there, the asterisk populates. And now we can click again with point mode to click right there on cell C2. Now we know this formula is correct because we see that it's referencing both of those cells. So we say, all right, this formula is now done. We could actually also use point mode to complete the formula by going right up here to the left of our formula bar. If you can see my mouse right there and we click this check mark, which is equivalent to pressing enter and we press it and there we go. It calculates that formula. So we've now calculated Garcia's bonus. Now we're going to move over to Garcia's total compensation and we're going to use point mode on this one as well. So we start with the equal sign and we want to add his bonus, which is cell D2. So I'm going to click on D2 and then I'm going to do the plus sign. Again, this should be on the number pad to the right of the nine key or the six key. So equals D2 plus, and now I'm going to click on E2, which is our bonus plus our base salary. And then I'm gonna go right up here using point mode to the left of the formula bar and click on the check mark. All right, now notice this can be pretty quick. You don't have to use your keyboard too much and you can use mostly your mouse to complete formulas. Now let's go over here to total tax. Again, your mouse, your hand is not moving back and forth to the keyboard as much in this mode. So now I'm gonna uh, press the equals sign and I'm gonna calculate the total tax, which is total compensation, so I click on F2 times, so I press the asterisk, the tax rate, which is right there in G2. Now again, using point mode, I go right here to where the left of the formula bar and I press enter and it calculates it for me. So there's our total taxes. Now we have our net pay. So now I'm gonna do equal sign and now I'm going to go to my total compensation, which is over here in F2, and I'm going to subtract out, so the minus symbol, which should be in the top right of your number pad on your keyboard. And now I'm going to click on total tax, which is H2. And then I go right up here to the point mode enter button to the left of the formula bar, and I click it and it calculates it. So that's great. Now we've calculated everything for Garcia. Now, what a lot of students do is they go through and they start typing out formulas in the rest of these. But since we already have the formula correct in all four, we can use autofill. So we click back on any one of the formulas that we want. And in the bottom right of that uh, green border, you will see this plus sign. It's a little green box. And as you hover over it, it turns into a black plus sign. And then you click and drag that down and all of that becomes calculated. And then you do the same thing for the remaining figures. And so you can see mostly by using your mouse, you could actually enter formulas very, very quickly. And then there we go. We've calculated the net pay for all 17 of our employees here.
So that's a little bit about how to use point mode and how to enter formulas while using point mode primarily with your mouse as opposed to a keyboard and as opposed to individually typing in cells uh, and this should reduce your errors. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to learn more about Excel, make sure you check out my Excel playlist. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.